This video is presented by EA Game Changes. Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. My name is Jovan and I am the administrator of the Sims community website and in this video we are gonna be checking out all of the new items that come with the Sims 4 Stranger Roll game pack. So let's begin with the new objects and build. We definitely have to check out the new objects. They are essential uh, for the Sims 4 um, Stranger World game pack and I do gotta say I am only gonna be checking out the items from build and buy and you know wallpapers, floor rings, the objects, items, everything like that but what I won't be checking out is buy debug section because uh, I gotta warn you guys buy debug uh, actually has a lot of spoilers there are a lot of spoilers in buy debug and uh, unless you want your storyline to be you know, spoiled, don't go there. Don't go there at all. So, uh, what I'm gonna be doing over here, uh, testing cheats true, of course, and bb.moveobjects on. Yeah. Uh, because I want to be able to place down these objects wherever, whenever. Um, <laughs> yeah, so let me actually, because I want to place down all of the walls and uh, walls, uh, you know, the windows and everything, I want to make sure that I set this wall over here so everything can be shown off appropriately so let's begin let's begin with the new items so first of all we have the bunk bed over here so I'm just gonna be going through some of the presets really quickly and if you're wondering how am I gonna go quickly through the presets I select an object and I press the plus button on my keyboard to just go through in between the different presets so you can check it out real quick of what's happening with the new items we have the tech x uh, chair over here. It's a brand new chair. Ooh, it's a chair with wheels, it seems. Okay. It's looking interesting. It only has like three variants. So, okay. Experimental aluminum slate um, is what you can find over here. It only has one preset. We have another one. Careful uh, tinkering table over here. And just one preset as well. This one has two or three different presets. It's the computer table. It's the study table actually, not just made for computers. Over here we have heavy metal, heavy duty shelf. Okay, next we have the glass top stage stairs. So these are stairs, okay. Um, I think that your sims can actually climb on them, I'm not too sure, but uh, yeah, let's just place them somewhere over here so they don't get in the way of other items that I'm gonna be placing down. Over here we have the plant containment cell that you can check out, it's pretty huge. Um, then we have the epic DUI shower. Uh, this reminds me, this is gonna go along great with the Sims 4 Laundry Day stuff pack, definitely. The whole eco-living theme just fits in nicely with the shower. <laughs> so next up we have the listening device. So it only has just a few presets, three pres presets, and this one uh, has a chair in addition. Um, okay, so we have a new gameplay object here. We have the B64 training bot. So this is a brand new gameplay object, it's also, uh, yeah, it's basically tied into the military career as well, and you are going to be able to improve your fitness skill throughout it, and this one is an object that you can actually unlock at level 8 of the military career while in the officer branch, it's called the modified B64 training bot, and it seems that it has a few uh, cool new animations maybe attached to it, so... I cannot wait to check that out myself. Um, over here we have Larry as uh, uh, oh Larry's a uh, Nick Knack bar over here. Some different presets, different stick uh, stickers over here as well. Um, next we have the Nick Knack Brick a Brac Shack. <laughs> I cannot believe that I was able to actually pronounce that. I'm shook. Okay, let's actually place that somewhere over here so they don't get in the way. Um, does it actually come with some presets? Let me just actually delete it so I can check it out real quick. No, there's only one preset. That's okay. So over here, some of you guys were wondering, does that new shower tub um, from the Sins for Stranger trailer actually... Yeah, is it actually playable? And it seems that it's only the core. So it's called the Clawfoot Fanciful uh, Planter. So this is actually where, you know, plants have been planted inside of a tub. Yep, that's right. You've seen that correctly. Uh, over here we have a Strange Wall Vines, a collection of Strange Wall Vines, okay. The Grunged uh, Splatcal number one. Oh my god. 
Let's actually place it over here. And the uh, Grunge uh, Splat Cal number two. Then we have the Strange Orville um, National Base uh, posters. Oh, okay, let's just place them down over here. Next up, we have the Storytelling Paintings. Okay. The Redacted uh, Tendril. <laughs> okay, this looks like an interesting object. Uh, <laughs> the plane wing. Oh, okay. This is not going to fit on the slot whatsoever. So I'm only going to be placing it like this so you can check it out. Um, what I haven't done, I haven't done a preset overview for some of these. So let me just go uh, real quick. You can see that there are different posters. There are a lot of different posters. Yeah, <laughs> definitely forgot about that one. Um, so the storytelling paintings as well. I love the graphics on these paintings, they're just so freaking cute. And of course, uh, this thing has some different presets as well. Oh my god, whatever that is. Um, so yeah, the plane wings don't get any different presets, they come in piece like this. Um, yeah, uh, we have the plane engine as well. Let's actually delete this so you can check out the plane engine. Uh, the plane engine, yeah, let's rotate it just a little bit. Uh, then we get the plane cockpit over here. Oh my god, this was a terrible accident. And also the plane tail that you can check out. So what I love about this plane tail, um, you know, the entire plane structure, uh, you know, the deconstructed plane structure, is the fact that you can actually create a really cool basement hidden away, you know, just like we've seen in that previous lot. Uh, but yeah, we get the no sign sign over here. It's a sign, whatever you tell me, it's still a sign. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and we also get the unorganized documents, so most of these objects don't get presets because, uh, I don't know. I don't know why they don't, but I don't think that there's even a need for different presets for objects like these. They're just, you know, decor. Very, very basic decor. Um, so we have this over here as well, the Not Your Grandmother's Old Photos. <laughs> oh my god. And we get the containment barrel over here. Okay, let's actually rotate it so you can check out the different uh, icons on it. Ooh, wait, okay. It comes with these different presets. Okay. So over here, we have the beakers and burners. So another decoration item. Um, so then we have the containment barrel stack with three different presets. Basically this, but you know, Contained. Uh, <laughs> so we get the Grunged uh, Spot Rudge Large. Uh, we get another one, the Grunged uh, Spot Rudge Half. Oh, wait, there are different presets for this one. It seems that it comes in different color variants. It comes with just some different presets, you know. It's very transparent, so it's hard to tell. Um, you can also, it seems that you can also put together the grunginess, <laughs> whatever that is. Um, you also get the grunge spot rudge, uh, but only a quarter of it. So they gave you options for these, um, definitely. The redacted rugs, so okay, a lot of mail went into this item. Uh, we also get the strange four vines over here. Oh, creepy. Uh, the patterned rugs. Okay, so this is definitely interesting because you are going to be able to see some different patterns, some different variations. I love it though. I love it. It looks really cute. And thanks to the cheat which lets you, you know, minify the items, you can now make it smaller, you can make it bigger, cover the entire house if you want. And, uh, you know, it has enough details to still pretty much look the same, I think. Over here, you get the ranking rug, which is unlockable. So, unlocked at level 8 of the military career while in the covered operator branch. So, there's only one preset for this one. Okay. Uh, the oversized uniform uh, accoutrements. Hopefully I pronounced that correctly. <laughs> uh, different presets for it. Definitely a lot of different presets. Uh, then you get the Purified 5000 Prototype. Um, not sure what this does. Maybe it's just the core, maybe it's not, but it's probably just the core. Um, the Inconspicuous Wall over here. Oh, this is huge. Let's place it over here so it doesn't cast a shadow to the entire lot. Wait, wait, wait. How do I rotate it? I cannot rotate it, you guys. I'm I'm gonna try to... Oh, okay, so keyboard helped out. 
Uh, okay, this is a huge item. So, this is probably just to decorate the insides of your very spooky looking lab. I love the prismatic details over here. So let's uh, move on. We get the non-functional air conditional for display purposes only. They warned you guys. They warned you even in the description. Not just the description, but also the item name <laughs> as well. So the oversized metal wall bracket self-illuminating. Okay, so this one is a self-illuminating item. Oh, it does self-illuminate. Okay. Oh, it also comes in different variants as well. I cannot miss out on different presets. Okay, so the uh, the top secret monitor display over here, it does have a few different presets. Okay, what's this? Who knows? Who knows, guys? I'm not sure why this was broken, maybe just to fit in with the storyline. Um, next, we have the vertical spray nozzles over here. It looks like a huge toothpick. <laughs> uh, next, we get the scrolling decal clock. Not sure if it's a functional clock. Probably not. I wish it was. Yeah, it doesn't say in the description. Maybe it is, though. Maybe it is a functional clock. So, you can check out the different um, items. Not the items, but, you know, the landscapes that have been drawn over here. The indestructible industrial sign as well. Um, you get- oh, wait, I didn't go through a lot of different presets. Wait, let me go back. Um, so these are some of the different presets that you get with it. A lot of them, actually. So you can also use it as a sign for some of your venues, you know, you can tell, oh, this is a coffee shop, oh, this is a library. So I love the markings. I'm definitely glad that they've added it. Uh, over here we have the wacky, wonderful carnival sock alien. A sock alien, because w we definitely needed some sock aliens in The Sims 4. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's a very cute item. Over here, okay, so the military grade flagpole unlocked at level 6 of the military career while in the officer branch. Um, okay, it's cute. Um, the Krabby Bottom Armadillo Yellow. Okay. So, I love the different uh, variants in this one. This one is kind of my favorite one. The Armadillo is so freaking cute. Um, we have the Metal Display Case as well. So, this one is unlocked at the level 8. Not 8, level 2. What did I just read? Uh, at level 2 of the military career. Okay. Can we actually display some medals? Who knows? Maybe that's attached to the military career gameplay that we are going to be checking out later on. So, the bar back with Shelly's photo. Okay. It's also a mirror. Okay. It has a mirror. I didn't even notice that at the bar in Strangerville. Um, so, these are some of the presets available for it. Guys, we have gotten full on uh, lava lamps in The Sims 4. Finally, we got different lava, lava lamps and we get uh, five different colors and you know after you turn it on in the live mode They actually light up properly just like full, you know, just like lava lamps for example from the Sims 3 generations It's similar, but it you know, it has a whole new design a whole new concept So finally lava lamps in the Sims 4 they're back uh, Unidentified lamp <laughs> is it a ship is it a dish is it a uh, is it a space dish is it a spaceship? Ooh. Note, it doesn't fly. <laughs> oh my god. The ceiling light is so adorable. Holy smokes, I love this. Okay. The not a scrap item. <laughs> oh my god. I love these items so much. The laboratory light strip. Okay. The industrialized do-it-yourself lightning. Okay. Laptops, guys. We are getting laptops with the Sims for Strangerville. So we get the standard portable computer over here. So we have two variants, basically, uh, with different presets. Um, didn't I just type in move objects on? Oh, okay. Oh, but we do have a desk over here. Okay, so let me just uh, actually use the eyedropper so I can showcase it over here. Uh, not all the way in the back there. So laptops are back, finally. I know, they're portable as well. You can put them in your inventory, guys. You can put the laptops in your inventory. I mean, how cool is that? Finally! Finally. Um, so, the standard portable laptop, uh, you can see it over here. It has uh, 
three different presets, the gray, the white, and the black. Can I place it over here so I can compare it to the other laptop? No, I had to place another desk over here. So I had to go and search for the category and the filter again. That's okay. Uh, let's go all the way down here. So the customized portable computer. So the difference is in the specifications and uh, yeah, the look of it is kind of the same. But you do get a lot of new presets for this one. You get five presets, actually. And you do not get any black or white pre uh, variants for it, but that's okay. I guess. I wish there were black and white variants, considering that this laptop is a lot more expensive, meaning that it has higher specifications. It has, you know, a more uh, fun. Yeah, more fun need uh, for your sims to improve, and also the reliability is also much bigger than on this one, but that's okay. The Soundtastic Fantastic Royale, um, so this is basically, you can play music from this one. It comes uh, with different variants, it's cute, and it will definitely go along with the Sims 4 Bowling Night Stuff Pack. So, I don't know, the Sims 4 Laundry Day and the Bowling Night Stuff Pack are the two stuff packs which are gonna go along just well with some of these new items, for sure. So the Pillar of Opulence, uh, okay, whatever this is, the Purifier 5 Million Prototype, then we get the Blinkomatic over here, oh, that's rusty, ew. Uh, the Regal bookcase, we finally get a new bookcase, you have probably seen that in the library as well, but yes, we finally get a new bookcase with uh, the Sims for Strangerville. I do wish, so there was a huge demand for counters and islands and everything, you know, more kitchen items, but it seems that they missed out on that opportunity with the Sims for Strangerville. Not sure why, because uh, I would definitely appreciate for more grungy kitchen items for sure i would love more uh, grungy kitchen items you know not everyone wants to have a high-end kitchen <laughs> at least um not in the sims oh my god so this is a roof detail that you can place on the top of the roof the custom style uh tile bowls as well wait i didn't go through the presets ah oh, shame of me okay let's go through the presets now there's a lot of them actually, and you also get the semi-custom style spire over here. Um, also, not a satellite dish. Oh, definitely not a satellite dish. Nah, uh, it's not a satellite dish, you guys. Uh, we get a new chimney, the old timey chimney. It has some uh, new presets. Then uh, we get the not quite the parapete. Um, yeah, this is something that you're gonna be able to place somewhere on your house not sure where but yeah it looks cute uh, then we get the gates of heck <laughs> okay love it um you can check out the different presets over here uh, then we get another gate the gates of Con uh the gates of conundrum oh, okay uh, different preset presets for it as well we get the gates of quandary over here. I love it. I love the new gates. You also get new fence, which I'm gonna be showcasing later on. Um, oh, wait. Oh, I had to switch to medium-sized walls. Okay, so that's what, what was happening. And uh, so the not just a door collection, the Bosch door. <laughs> love the naming of this one. Uh, so here are the different presets for it. We get the not just a door collection, the Morador. Uh, oh my god. Oh my god, I love these doors so freaking much. I mean, that sounds weird to, you know, express my love for doors, but I truly do. I love these doors. I mean, they're so amazing. Oh my god. And the details on the windows and everything. Oh, holy smokes. The inviting swing out door as well. They added a lot of doors. Just... A huge amount of doors, for sure. Um, the Not Just a Door Collection, the Tully. So, you know, if you're missing out on the doors and The Sims 4, well, The Sims 4 Strangerville is the pack to go. Definitely. Um, the Not Just a Door Collection, the Zone Door. Another door. So, this line is just doors and fences. Uh, the gates, actually. The fences are something that I'm going to be later on showcasing. Um, okay, wait, wait. I got lost. 
Okay, so the another not so inconspicuous door. Ha! Huh. Yeah, for sure. Oh my god, but can this actually be used as a door? Now, that's something that we have to check out later on. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure if this has any gameplay attached to it, considering that it can only be ro uh, rotated to specific angles. Maybe if I rotate my camera. Nope. I have to use my keyboard, actually. No, no, it only goes... Yeah, it's probably because I used the move object on cheat. Yeah, that was the case. Uh, anyway, I'm going to be placing it over here. Why the heck not? Um, okay, so... Next we get the, the Sansador Arch. Over here we get a brand new arch. Um, new windows! We definitely need the new windows. And these are looking so freaking cute. The Shuttered Mystery. Okay. The uh, Trice Arched Aperture. These are so freaking adorable. The Discreet. Okay. Then you get the Arched Aperture over here. You get the window of mystery. Oh, I love these tall windows. And the fencing, the, you know, the subtle fencing over here, it's looking so sweet. The sky parlor delight. You also get the twice discreet. And I'm not sure why this item was the last one in this catalog, but um, why the heck not? The unassuring and not confidential papers. Maybe because it has some gameplay attached to it. That's probably why it was the last one on the list. But you know, that's not all. That's not all of the items that you're getting with the Sins for Strangerville over here that I placed down. So, um, let me actually go over here. So you also get some new floorings as well. You get the dirtiest pattern over here. So let's place it like this. You get the decoder tile as well. You get some new warp wallpapers over here. You get the... Uh, uh, corrugated metal, yup. It also comes in different presets as well. And you get the metal enclosure with different presets as well. So you get some new fences. You get four new fences in the game. So, oh, this fencing has a lot of presets. The illusion of a fence. Is it real? Is it there? Let's find out. Um, let's place it down. Oh my god, this fence is really small. <laughs> I'm not sure what's up with this, but maybe it's for floor markings, maybe it's for something like that. Uh, I'm, Yeah, maybe to give your sims an illusion that they're trapped inside. Oh, okay, that maybe makes sense. Okay, let's move on. We have the Twisting Peaks uh, over here. You get the classic picket fence, finally! We also got a picket fence with the Sims for Backyard stuff, I believe. Or it was maybe some of the other packs. But yeah, you get uh, finally a proper variation of a picket fence. And don't worry, there's a full-on white picket fence as well. And you get the almost gapeless fence as well over here. So that seems to be basically it. You, of course, get the new railings. You get the old school stair railing over here. Um, you don't get any new stairs, unfortunately. You do get new columns. So you get the ridged cornering over here. And there's also the porch break that you can find over here. And there are some new... Uh, what's... Yeah, the spandrels. Yeah, the leafed capping... Um, Oh, what's happening? Yeah, probably because of the move object on cheat. But yeah, you can check them out over here. Finally, some new spandrels as well. I know you guys wanted them. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, but uh, yes, you do not get any new roof types. And basically, I think that that's pretty much it. You do get four new style looks. So let's go through that real quick. Um, the hunker down bunker. Um, you get the ominous observatory. You get the garden of Metamor uh, metamorphosis. And there's also Larry's old watering hole that you get uh, with this um, game pack. Okay, guys, this was fun, but we're not stopping here. Um, let me actually just take a screenshot over here uh, because I might uh, need this for a thumbnail or two. Um, because this was definitely a lot of work to place down on a lot. So that's basically it when it comes to new build 
items. So guys, that's about it for this video. Please let me know in the comment section down below what do you think about the brand new items that we get with the Sims 4 StrangerVille game pack. Of course, make sure you stay tuned to all of the latest news and updates to the Sims franchise by subscribing to our channel. And also, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a huge thumbs up. Thank you guys once again for watching this video and I will talk to you guys in my next one. Bye!